Hey there, Vanessa DeBerlay here, and I want to talk about three mistakes that new YouTubers consistently make. And I had read this on somebody else's channel, and I thought I would sh share it with you if you're a new YouTuber, because we want to make sure we're not making these mistakes. The number one mistake is that new YouTubers will consistently go to other YouTube channels and pretty much spam their comments. They'll go in there and say, hey, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. And when I first read about that, I thought, oh, let me go check that out. It's all over the place. And it, it is spamming. You are out there just begging people to subscribe to your channel. Now, yes, we do want to help each other. Everybody was new at one time, and we definitely want to subscribe to people's channels, and hopefully they'll subscribe back. But you don't have to ask. I think there's an unwritten rule out there that if you do subscribe to somebody's channel and they probably don't know you and they see that you're new, I think that they'll return that favor, and you don't really have to ask. I actually tested it. Um, earlier today, I went on to three different... Um, videos i watched them i provided some very positive feedback on those channels and in that channel i wrote something like you know i'm excited this is some of the takeaways that i got for my new channel and blah 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 and it was interesting throughout the day i set my um youtube channel to not notifications so that i can be notified and i've had people dinging in and subscribing to the channel now is it going crazy no but it is a more of a it's better than spamming. So it's just a natural way of doing it and it will help you get more people to subscribe, but you're not out asking. So that that's something that if you're doing that, maybe change your tactics there and it, it, it'll grow. It'll Everybody's channel will grow when it's supposed to and we'll, everybody will get there. I know 1,000 subscribers is the, is the goal that everybody has uh, because they want to start monetizing, but you have to earn your way. And that's one of the ways you could naturally go out and provide good positive feedback to others and maybe people will see, recognize you. Number two, some people that are new will here and there when they think of it, upload a video and it's not on a consistent basis, it's not on a schedule and it's just whenever they feel like it. And if you're not predictable and people don't know when you're going to provide them with a video, then they may not subscribe or they may unsubscribe or just stop watching. People, it's kind of like a TV show. When they have a favorite TV show, they want to know it's on every Thursday night at seven o'clock and they're waiting for it. And that's what you want people to do for you, that you want them waiting for you. One of my pieces of advice to add to that, if you're brand new, a brand new um, YouTuber, put something up every day. Now you might say, well, that's really hard because it takes time. It does take time. So one of the things I have done is I will try to make seven a week, either in one day or within two days. It, it happens to be usually in two days and I'll schedule them. I also will do some that are lengthier. And what I mean by lengthier, 10 to 15 minutes. And then I might do two or three that are really short. Sometimes I'm sitting working and I find that I had trouble, I Google something and had trouble finding the directions. Well, to me, that's something I want to make a video on because if I had trouble finding the answer to that question, somebody else did too. And another plus when you learn something and then turn around and teach it, not only are you helping somebody else with that same concept, but it helps you to remember how to do it. So it's, it's a win-win situation and you're getting your videos out in a timely manner. Now remember, pick a time every day that you're going to schedule and stick to it. And you can schedule them ahead of time so that it's easier to stick with that schedule. And number three, content. Content is king. You hear this all the time. Many, Some people pick a platform like blogging. Some people like to do Facebook Lives. Obviously, you're listening to this because you want to pick your platform as a YouTube um, pl platform. So make sure that when you do provide that content, don't be scarce in the beginning. I know it, it, in the beginning, a lot of people aren't watching your videos, but you want to give it the same attention that you would give your video as if you had a lot of people watching. So even though you may only have 10 subscribers, give them the same effort that you would give 10,000 subscribers. Always assume there's a lot of people on the other side watching because even though they're not watching right now, you've, you've made a good video with good content. Once people start recognizing you, it's their, it's just human nature. They'll go back and watch some of your other videos. So you want to make sure everything gets the same integrity in the beginning as you did in the end. Obviously you're going to get better and your videos will get better, but that's kind of cool to watch with when people are new just to see how they improve, but you don't want your integrity to change as you go through. Hopefully that was helpful to you and I will see you on the next video.